I have been waiting for this one since yesterday. Uh, all right, new A24 horror trailer. Not Maxine. Please, God, soon. When, Lord? When? So I don't really know anything about this other than the fact that it has Bridget Lundy Payne in a lead role, which is really cool. They don't get too many lead roles too often. Uh, plus, A24 and horror. Hell yes. That is from a director from a very wacky and polarizing uh, horror film. We're all going to the World's Fair, which I never found out how I felt about that one after the time I watched it. Now, I do want to know, this is a PG-13 horror film, which I know from many, whenever they hear that, a horror film is like PG-13, it's just kind of like, Shut it down! Shut it down! Shut it down! Shut it down! Now! But, I also want to note now, this is very surprising. This, what's even more surprising, considering not only this director's previous work, which I don't know if that one was rated R, I wouldn't be surprised if it was, but also the fact that this is an A24 horror film with a PG-13 rating, like, has that ever even happened before? Uh, no it has not. This is a first. So this will be very interesting to check out. Now, before I get into the trailer, I do want to read the premise because, again, I don't know about this movie. So we're going to check out this premise. I almost said, uh, I almost put it in, we're all going to the World's Fair. What is this movie? I saw the TV glow. I saw the TV glow. All right, premise. What the fuck? Fred Durst is in this? Phoebe Bridgers? Uh, oh, as herself. Who does Fred Durst play? As Frank. What is this movie already? Okay, so here's the premise. Two teenagers bond over their love of a television series after it mis is mysteriously canceled, their reality begins to blur. My bets are on channel zero. So let's go ahead and check this one out. So as their favorite TV series be can gets canceled, their reality begins to blur. Interesting. I know this might already looks like we're all going to the world's fair. I don't want to already looks like it. Do you remember a TV show we used to watch together? I already like this one much more. Channel Zero! The Big of Eight? Yeah. Do you watch? God, Bridget Lundy Payne looks so cool in this. Each episode, they help each other fight a new monster from across the county. But it's way too scary for most kids. If we're gonna defeat him this time, we're gonna need to harness the full potential of our shared powers. What a wacky Sometimes movie so far. I think opaque feels more real than real life. There's Maybe something blissful about it, it though. A TV show. Are you sure that's all it was? Huh. I like girls, you know that, right? Totally. That's fine. What about you? Do you like girls? I think that I like TV shows. <laughs> Our destiny. Our destiny. Something's wrong. This is how life is supposed to feel. Tell me you know it's true. Maddie, it's it's just the suburbs. I'm definitely gonna gonna check it out, but I'm very confused as to what's going on. Maddie disappeared without a trace. <laughs> Which isn't TV set. You know, surprising considering we're all going to the world's fair. Told myself I made the right choice. <laughs> it's very dreamy. It reminds me a lot of like Stranger Things. Well, from what I've seen of Stranger Things, I haven't seen it at all. What if I really was someone else? Very far away on the other side of a television screen. <laughs> I have no idea how this is gonna play out. It looks more coming of age than it does horror, which I did see listed somewhere that it was labeled as like drama horror. Uh, I think that looks about right. Uh, I can't really say that I'm going into it with too much excitement. It looks, it's, it's, it's definitely from the director of the previous film that I was mentioning, but I'm definitely gonna give this one a shot. There are still things about it. Regardless, even just from production uh, standpoints, like uh, Bridget Lundy Payne, uh, A24 Horror, but I'm definitely going to go into this one and, you know, be 
as open as I can about it because I have an idea as far as like aesthetically, maybe like pace wise, maybe tone wise, what I'll be getting. To me personally, it seems like that coming of age, like retro aesthetic of Stranger Things, but with more of a tone and inspiration and nod toward something perhaps like Channel Zero. So we'll see what we get into it, but with also the very weirdness and polarization that we're all going to the World's Fair gave us. So I'm going to go in with those uh, with those points whenever I do see this. But yes, guys, that's going to do it for my reaction of I Saw the TV Glow. What do you guys think about this one? It is getting really good reviews, but, um, you know, it, again, it is PG-13. It looks very wacky. You could probably expect it to be very polarizing just from a number of things like I had mentioned earlier. But yes, that is going to do it for my reaction of I Saw the TV Glow's trailer reaction trailer. Uh, with all that being said, guys, I will be seeing you in the next one very soon, and I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks for watching.